A Saline County father is sentenced to prison for his role in the 2017 deaths of his own children who were left in a truck that backed into a pond. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Bob Clawson. And I'm Ashley Ketz. Tonight we are getting a first look at the father's interview with police. As Tyler Thomason shows us, it resulted in an emotional confession. In the summer of 2017, Saline County investigators were tasked with determining how a truck with a two-year-old girl and a five-month-old boy inside ended up in a pond. The children were dead and their parents ended up in jail. All the focus would soon shift toward the father, Jonathan Welber. A truck rests in the water. Crime scene tape surrounds the pond and a Saline County father has to answer for it. Tell me what happened when she got in the, in the driver's seat of that truck. Tell me what happened to Zane and Sophie, okay? Let's do our best for them. Yes, sir. June 28th, 2017. Two-year-old Sophie and five-month-old Zane were pronounced dead after being found in a submerged pickup. Arrests soon followed, but like the water, details remained murky. The parents, Jonathan Wellborn and Brittany Hairston, were booked on child endangerment charges. A sinister story unraveled during an emotional police interview. And, and I'm like, my baby truck's gone. Where's our babies at? I was freaking out. Wellborn recounts a day of hanging out and smoking meth at a rural home in Perrin. He admits to being the last one in the truck with the kids, impatiently waiting on Hairston. Jonathan, you're the only one that can tell me exactly what happened. He initially told detectives the truck rolled into the pond by itself with the kids inside. At one point in the interview, detectives left him alone with the recovered car seats. Toward the end of the nearly three hour conversation, Wellborn caved, putting himself in the truck when it hit the water. John, was it that, at that point when the water hit you, you realized, oh, something's really, really went wrong? Okay. Negligent homicide charges were added for Wellborn. A jury found him guilty last week. Last Thursday, Jonathan Welburn was sentenced to 52 years in state prison following his conviction. Brittany Hairston pleaded guilty to child endangerment charges last year. She received probation with credit for jail time served. Back to you.